she kissed him. He was warm and gentle, like he was afraid he might break her. He tasted sweet from the rum that he had been drinking. She had expected him to get hard under her, but he did not. Unbuckling his belt, he felt a little bit awkward. I haven't worked down there for a while, he said softly. I'm old and there's this medication. He really wrapped his arms around her and kissed her again passionately. When they came up for air, she snuggled against his chest. Practice makes perfect, she said. Thank you. I haven't kissed anyone for a long time. Let's have a couple more drinks. He let her loose and she stood. You do drugs? Just a little weed. She came back from the kitchen with a plastic bag that had a couple of joints already rolled. They lit it up and passed it down back and forth. I found out where Sandy got into a fight with that boy. Oh really? At the store in the mini mall, the clerk gave it away by mistake. The gun was fired there. She must have had a jack drive her back into the apartment. Really? Wow. He smiled at her. But you already know that. He, he thought at her. How is Jack doing? He asked. Violet shook her head. What? He asked. He hung himself at his grandmother's in Manila. God, why? A whole lot of shit. Violet gulped her drink. I can tell you later when I'm coherent. Too much shit. They let it. They let the joint go out. They looked at her, at each other. Can I come back over there? She asked. He nodded. She called back into his lap and snuggled against his chest. Everything's so fucked and, and so fucking unfair. I've known it all along. She was slurring her words now. Everything's shit on you without any reason. You just roll and get up. I've never had a goddamn god to rely on, but this time. All those not nose people at the university are really a fucking number. They want, 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 like brats and tell by pig parents. If I could, I'd really teach him, a, teach him about unfair. Everyone there needs to learn firsthand about unfair. Praying helps. I see people die every day. He whispered. Now she looked up at him. Can your God send down a ball of lightning? Maybe around commencement time? I doubt it. Maybe I shouldn't talk to him, she said. I don't want to hate anybody, but all I got now is hate, hate, hate. She was getting his sweater wet. They sat there together for a bit and then he realized that she had fallen asleep or had passed out. Could he get up with her and put her on the couch without waking her? He wasn't sure what to do. Then Emily came out to bring her dish to the kitchen. She was passed out. He told the girl, can you carry her to, to her bed? He did not know. Catch me if I stagger. He stood. Violet was surprisingly light. She just rolled her head over against his neck. This way, Emily said. He followed her to her bedroom and put her down as gently as he could after the girl turned down the bed. They hadn't turned on the light, so they both tiptoed out and went back to the living room. He picked up his bottle of rum. Tell her all is good. I'll call her tomorrow, he said.